Alright, first video on this new channel. Today, we're going to talk about suffering and progress, how they go hand in hand. Um, a wise man once said that pain is progress, and that wise man was XXX Tentacion. Um, you know, and if you know, you know. Um, it took a while for that, you know, quote to really sink in for me. You know, as I, the more I go through life since hearing that quote, the more and more I understand it. Um, also this, there was this YouTuber I've watched a few videos, uh, of his, his name was, I don't know if it still is, but the YouTube channel name was Spiritual Renaissance. And he talked about how God, you know, cooks you up in a frying pan. That's his job, basically. He he cooks you up in a frying pan, you know. He's burning you, constantly burning you and burning you and burning you. And it's that it's not a bad thing. It's necessary, you know. It's 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 bettering you. It's, it's purifying you, you know, um, because the more that you go through life, and I'm not even talking about just this life, I'm talking about lifetimes, because if you don't know by now, I mean, you should know you are a infinite being having a temporary human experience, um, excuse that noise. You know, the more lifetimes you go through, the more you suffer, obviously, right? And the more pure you are. I know personally, I've, I'm an old soul. I've been through a bunch of lifetimes. And I'm, I'm just who I am. You know what I mean? Like, I just do me. I, I don't follow the crowd, shit like that bullshit, you know, like that. Um... And the more you go through life, lifetimes, like I have, that's that's what you become like, you know. So, and, and let me just clarify, when I say pure, like, the more, the more suffering you go through, it's purification. What I mean by purification or being pure, becoming more pure is really you just become more of yourself, good or bad or ugly. Which all in in the grand scheme of things, really, I would I would lean towards saying does not exist. You ha, really, how can you put any definition on the totality of existence, which is infinite? I mean, it just you know what I mean. It's just really silly to do so if you understand that existence, the universe, whatever is infinite. So so. I'm saying that to say all this. Just whether you believe in reincarnation or not, which is reincarnation is 100% the truth. But for anybody watching this video, just know whatever suffering you're going through, whatever pain you're going through, coming from somebody that's been through a lot, a fuck ton, truly, <laughs> it's happening for you, not to you, okay? It's happening for the your betterment. It's it's progressing you. It's pushing you to be better. Trust and believe. I've seen too much in this life, um, specifically, to know that that is true. You, you really just you can't you try your best to not. You know you got to practice not being so attached to. The shit that happens to you, really good, really good or bad for real, but especially the the bad, you know. Because um, of course we're gonna focus on that, you know. That's we're we're trained to do that. We as humans are trained to give more weight to the bad. I feel like, and um, I mean, you know, it's like they say. Life 
you know, specifically here on Earth, it's just a test. You're going to keep coming back here till you get it right, like, like, the vast majority of it right. That's what I believe. Maybe, and honestly, I don't know, maybe even until you get it absolutely fucking perfect, which is most likely the case. See, I, see, I don't even know uh, that part for real, but what's most likely the case, how we're talking about purification and progressing and shit like that, because it's almost like I feel like you can really never s stop progressing, so therefore perfection can't be achieved, but uh, most likely you're you're going to go through you know these lifetimes of of hardship and and pain suffering as a human you know specifically here on this earth till you achieve some de degree of perfection if that makes any sense um oh yeah i know what i know what else i wanted to say too so yeah embrace the suffering because it builds you like i said it builds your character and if you think about it, your character, your values, your morals, what you stand for, it's kind of all you've got, in a sense, because it's the foundation of everything else. A good foundation, you know, without a good foundation, you, you can't have a good life. You can't have a fulfilled life, or a mean, you know, a meaningful life at all. Suffering is what makes you beautiful, you know, it's what makes life beautiful, and what I like to, I, I've came up with a new little phrase, little, I guess, catchphrase, and that is, stars have the most scars, when you suffer so much, you become more of who you truly are, you shed all the, all the bullshit, right, that's been conditioned onto you by the world, by, you know, people, and all these agendas going on, you know, all, all, but you, you guys probably know what I mean, all the fucking bullshit in the world, right, all the, all the nonsense, all the falsehoods, all the fake, fakeness, you know, when, when you go through so much suffering, you just, you sh you sh eventually shed all that, and you just be you. You just straight up be you, and when you just straight up be you, guess what you are? A star. You're a star, okay? That's like, I feel like a lot of these celebrities, you know, we can say what, they, what we want about them, like, okay, they sold their soul, stuff like that, but I feel like to some degree, and, and certain celebrities... To some degree with certain celebrities, you know, some more than others and whatnot, but they've been through more than the average person in the totality of their existence, at least as a human. You know what I mean? They've been through more lifetimes, therefore they've suffered more, therefore they've been their selves, you know what I mean? They've been their selves more specifically in that lifetime than compared to the average person, so they're getting rewarded by the universe, you know, they get, they have this fame, they have this fortune, and I feel like that's what happens to a degree now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fucked up shit, you know, going on, don't get me wrong, they sell their souls, and they, they do a bunch of fucked up shit that I'm not even gonna get into, because there's, there's a lot to talk about there, but to some degree, what I just said, I, I definitely believe is true. So, yeah, the more scars you have, the bigger of a star you are. I mean, and, that, and that's how I see it. You know, because literally, like, your energy will be more felt by others, average people. Your energy, the more you suffer, right? Let's say you're an old soul like me, okay? You're an old soul like me, and... You know, of course, like me, I'm around all a, a fuck ton of young souls everywhere I go, right? Um, generally, I'm going to generally call them young, 
young souls and generally call myself an old soul. Okay, so your energy is going to be bigger. It's going to be more potent. You know what I mean? It just it's just na it's nature. It's naturally going to be that way if you've suffered more than others. You know, for those that really understand what I'm talking about, if you're somebody like myself, you will understand what I'm talking about more so than just an average person listening to this. But um See, I could, I'm gonna, I really don't want to get into it, but I kind of just, <laughs> I always feel like I have to clarify this. Because in the totality of existence, nobody's better than anybody else. It's just temporarily you might be better than somebody because of your experience, because of the level that your soul is at, right? The amount of lifetimes you've been through. Because at the end of the day, Right? At the end of the day, we're all one, and we're all infinite. So how could you, you know what I mean? How, not only how can you be better than you, but if you're infinite, how can you be better than somebody else that's infinite? That You can look at it either way, you know what I mean? If you want to separate and look at everybody as separate, or if you want to look at everybody as one, you know what I mean? Either, you know, however you want to go about that, however you want to think about it, in the totality of infinite existence, you can, you literally cannot be better than anything or anybody. But yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to say. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.